हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल स्वागत है आपका एक बार फिर से हमारे चैनल पर फॉर फ्यूचर अपडेट्स एंड फॉर फ्री प्रीमियम अकाउंट्स एंड एप्स फ्री स्टीम गेम्स एंड मच मोर एक्सक्लूसिव टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स जॉइन अस ऑन डिस्कोड एंड द लिंक टू दैट विल बी इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोना टेल यू हाउ यू कैन इंस्टॉल मैक ओ एस हाई सी एर आर टेन पॉइंट वन थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्सटी फोर बिट विद वर्चुअल बॉक्स इन विंडोज टेन सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड So for installing Mac OS into Windows 10 you will first have to do some preparations and how will you do that you'll have to download and install some files and don't get intimidated by this just follow all the steps shown and you will have your Mac OS in no time now the files that you have to download are virtual box the whole downloading process of that is in the last video and we will provide you with the link in the description below And the other two files are VMDK file of Mac High Sierra 10.13.6 and the CMD commands which you will need later. Now first let me show you how to download the VMDK file. So first you'll have to go to this link. Now don't pause the video and start typing away into your computer. The link is in the description below. This is where the URL will take you. As you can see Mac OS High Sierra 10.13.6 by pbunified.zip. and also the import to and download buttons and without any doubt we will click on download it's about a 7 gb file and might take some time and now we are going to show you how you can download the second file which is the cmd commands just go to this link which again will be in the description below and scroll down to click on free download where a new tab will open up Now here you will have to wait for about 20 seconds and in the meantime I will specify them that I'm not a robot and why isn't the 20 seconds decreasing but okay it's working so after this whole process your download link will be created once you click on create your link click here to download and then add and finally the download bar just click on start download and i'm not going to do it because i have already downloaded these as you can see these are the files that i have pre downloaded the commands and the vmdk file simply click on virtual box then click on more and run as administrator so now i'm going to open virtual box which you should have downloaded and installed already with the help of the previous video here it is this is what it looks like Now click on new and here you will type the name of your virtual machine which I will show you in the guided mode. Please choose a descriptive name and a destination folder and we will type mac keep in mind and write something simple because there are certain command lines that you will have to write make the job easier for yourself. Select your machine folder and the type which is Mac OS X and for the version we will select Mac OS 10.13 High Sierra 64 bit. So this is your memory allocation. I have 8 GB so I am allocating 5 GB of RAM. Now you will have to enable virtualization on a BIOS or 64 bit 10.13 High Sierra won't be available. And if you don't know how to do that, the link for the process will be in the description below. In the hard disk section We will select use an existing virtual hard disk file and select the VMDK file we downloaded at the starting of the video. To select your file, you will have to click on this icon, click on add and then find your folder and the file where you downloaded it. Choose the file and then click on create. I have already created the virtual machine so I will click on cancel instead of create. Now open the cmd commands which was the second file we downloaded and change or type the name of your virtual machine's name we named it mac so we have written that here i told you to write a simple name now you know why you can also change the name by selecting it go to edit then replace it with your name now i will simply search for command prompt Now you will run command prompt as administrator. First you will have to type the location of virtual box which you will see me doing here. Type cd and then I simply open the folder of virtual box and copy and pasted the location. 
Next, type in the name of the drive which in our case is E and if the window is not in the drive you will have to do this otherwise there will be an error in the command. Lastly, you will have to copy all these 7 commands and paste them here. And it's done. Now let's go to VirtualBox and run as administrator again. Click on start. Now as you can see we have got Mac here and let's set it up. Changing the resolution of this machine, follow these steps. Open command prompt and copy paste this account. You can easily type any resolution you want here and paste the command on command prompt. Then run the Mac again.
the resolution is changed just set it whatever way it fits your screen and that's it that's how you can enjoy mac without buying the hardware the performance will depend on your pc specifications although now you can change some settings also to enhance the performance so to do that click on settings then go to system click on acceleration and if your mac doesn't load and is stuck at start random seed then here untick this and disable nested pinging and it will solve the issue then in motherboard set your base memory and untick floppy then in display take the video memory to the max and that must be all let's see and yes here is system processor take it to at least 2 cpu that's it now your virtual machine should run smoothly and with this we'll be wrapping up today's video thank you so much for watching like and share the video and comment down below what kind of videos you want us to make next and happy new year to everyone subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to always stay updated do you love me